So the word on the street is you want to become a real estate investor. You got some change in your pocket, you're ready to put that into your first property. Well, here's the question. Are you going to buy in your local market or are you going to put that money to work out of state, out of area? Let's talk about it. Another episode of Lights of Beach. Let's go. Beautiful Santa Barbara, California. However, paradise isn't always smooth sailing. Let's talk about it. This is Life's a Beach. So when it comes to investing in real estate, there's a couple options for sure. And there's pros and cons to each. Let's talk about investing in state versus out of state. When you're investing in state, you probably know your market pretty well already and you should be working with a realtor that really knows the market. And when you're investing in state, if there's a problem at the investment property, you can drive over, you can fix it, you can find local contractors to get it done. You can even interview your tenants in person and get to meet them and get an understanding of who they are before they go and live in your investment property. When you're investing in a property that's out of state, you really need to rely on your property manager. They're gonna be the ones interviewing the tenants. They're gonna be the ones finding the contractors to fix things when you're not there to have eyes on the ground. And so that's something that's so important is finding a great realtor and a great property manager when you're investing in out of state in an area that you don't know super well. In California, yes, our cost of living and cost of initial acquisition of a property is very high. When you take you know, the average price of a single family home in Santa Barbara and move that to Texas, you can probably get like a sixplex, an eightplex, and you can even get like a single family starter home for sometimes under 200 grand when it comes to out of area places but you need to research that market very diligently. If we look back to 2008, the areas that got hit hardest were places like Texas, like Nevada, places with huge urban sprawl. Insulated markets are more resistant to the ups and downs of the real estate market. Obviously we haven't seen a down since 2008, but who knows when the next one will be. My advice to you, if you want to invest, is if you have the means to do so in the market that you know best and you love living there, you think it's more and more people are gonna move there, invest in your target market. But if you're taking that money and you wanna go out of state, do a bunch of research. Find a realtor that knows the ins and outs of not just the properties there, but working with out of state investors. I have contacts in all 50 states and overseas in my referral groups that I can link you up with if you need somebody and really have a deep conversation about them. Ask them about the property managers in town. Ask them about other clients that they've helped with out of town investments. Doing your research is so important because even if the house is 100 or $200,000, that's a big purchase. You don't want to have that house you come out to Texas to see it in person after a year of renting it down and it's a pile of metal and burnt down siding and glass because the property manager was out of town, out of sight, out of mind and the tenants burned the place down. So when it comes to in market investing or out of state, out of area investing, both are good options. You just gotta make sure you do the research and find out what's right for you. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Life's a Beach. Make sure to follow for more real estate content and I'll see you next time.